let's take a look at an example of creating a dynamic web page. And I'm going to go to um, Google and I'll type in computer. Say computers. And I'll go to images. And then I'm going to do the, um, the options. And I'll choose the advanced search. And um, then uh, when I come down to usage rights, it says not filtered by license. I'm going to say free to share or free to use or share. You, well, even commercially, you can choose that one. And click uh, advanced search. Okay. Now I'm going to save, save some of these. So let me right click on this one. And I'll click save image as. It's under my temp folder. And notice the name of it download.jpe. I'm going to say computer1.jpg and then press enter. I'm going to right click on this one and save save link as and I'll call this one I say save link uh, right click and say save image as no that didn't sound right when I said it and I'll call this computer2.jpg and just so I have a third one, I don't know if I actually need it or not, but I'm right clicking this one and say save image as. And I'll call this computer3.jpg. Now, if it doesn't say JPEG as a type, I probably wouldn't try to save it as that. If it says PNG, for example, or another type. Okay, now I'm going to bring up Notepad. So I come down here, bring up Notepad. And, um,. We're going to um, have a beginning of our web page, HTML. We'll have our header and uh, give it a title. And this will be an image example. We're going to manipulate images. End it with title and close off the head. Start the body. I'll go ahead and close off body and I'll go ahead and close off HTML while I'm at it. And up arrow to this blank space. Now I want to put in a, an image here. So I'll do image source equals and I'll call it uh, computer1.jpg and uh, alt I'll say um, first computer image. And um, I'll do a closing parenthesis like that. Now I'm going to save it. I'll do file save. And I want to put it in the same folder as where I put those images at. And I'm going to change, change the save as type to all files. And I'll call this, um, uh, I don't know, maybe computer.html. Okay, let's see what that looks like to begin with. So let me go to my temp folder. Computer.html. So we right click on that and click open with Google Chrome. I like Google Chrome. And it shows my first image. Nothing exciting. We've seen that before. Well, now this closing tag for the image, I'm going to enter and throw it down here. And I'm going to put some code in here. And this will say on mouse over equals and then this dot source equals and then a single quote computer two closing single quote semicolon semicolon is what separates the the, the um, lines of code and um, then closing um, quote then on mouse um, out I'll change this to this dot source equals and I'll put it back to computer one computer one um, like this and let's save that and see if I get any syntax errors so come over here refresh this now when I put my mouse over there it says first computer image so it's not working quite right Okay, that's because I put computer 2, forgot to put the JPEG. <clears throat> and here, I forgot to put a JPEG. 
We save those. Refresh this. Put a mouse over. Changes the other image. Mouse goes out and, and goes back. Okay, now let's take a look a little bit at the code to see what it's doing. Now my image hasn't changed. My image tag. I still got my original source image. This is what appears to begin with. It's got the an alt. Um, so if for some reason they, they they're using a reader, then they can see that. Or if they can't view images. Closing for the image tag, I threw down a couple lines. You can have extra spaces in there. HTML doesn't care. Now I put on mouse over. This means when my mouse is over the image, then equals, and then I have a beginning quote here, and then closing in the quote over here. So this is going to do all this code inside whenever your mouse goes over. This dot source. Well, this is referring to the image, and dot source, well, that source you see right here is the same uh, as the source right here. And I'm just changing it. Instead of computer1.jpg right here, I'm changing it to computer2.jpg, the second image I got. And um, notice I got them within single quotes here, but I got them within double quotes up here. You have to do that when this is enclosed in double quotes right here and right here. Any quotes you put inside have to be different ones. So that's why we put single quotes in there. Single quotes, double quotes uh, accomplishes the same task. If I were to come up here and put single quotes, this would work. You just can't have a double quote here and a double quote right here. Okay. So then, uh, again, the semicolon ends that line, and uh, then on mouse out. What that means is after your mouse leaves your image, so it goes off of your image, then it'll change the source to back to computer1.jpg, which was our original, original image. So that's how you can program when you move your mouse over it that it changes images. Now that's our first example of using uh, some dynamic um, web pages.